Hey guys, what is up? I am back again with another tutorial and let me just tell you that this is some hot fire shit right here and I am about to slay your life with this makeup tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoy this. This is definitely not for no basic bitch, just letting you know. So I hope you guys enjoy this makeup tutorial and if you guys do recreate it, don't forget to hashtag OMG Lashes so I can check out your recreations. Tag me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, text me, call me, whatever you want, girl. So if you guys want to know how to slay your face and be a fucking queen, then just keep on watching. Give this video a thumbs up. Yeah. Okay, so I'm taking Frappe by Makeup Geek, and excuse my ratchet ass nails, I'm getting them done once I promise. But I'm taking that on a big fluffy brush, and I am just pretty much just doing everything and nothing at the same time. I'm just taking that and blending it everywhere, being pretty messy with it actually. Then I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia palette, and I'm gonna pick up Sienna. I think this palette is no longer available, the lavish palette, but Sienna is available and it's a single shadow so you can definitely order that it is such a pretty color it's definitely like a must and i'm applying that pretty messily as well but i am making sure that i'm blending everything now i'm gonna take this color by coastal suns it is such a gorgeous color it is so pretty it's like a deep burgundy with purple undertones and it's called burnt umber it is such a pretty color i really like how i just smoked it out and it just really brought some color into this makeup look so i'm just taking that and again applying it into the crease just really stacking those colors together after that i'm going to go in with my mac painterly paint pots and i'm going to start carving out the crease i really wasn't going for anything in specific i was just going with the flow but i started carving out that crease to start a cut crease makeup look I'm going to take this Beach Cosmetics Foiled Eyeshadow and I'm taking this, it's like a mustardy yellow eyeshadow, super pigmented, very pretty. I highly recommend this palette. I really like it. And I'm going to start packing that all over the lid with this brush. This is from Vanity Planet. And I just really take my time and I make sure that I apply it. I kind of changed my mind towards the end, so I decided to do a half cut crease. So I am going back with Coastal Sun's Burnt Umber and I'm applying that to the outer crease to smoke it out. Now I'm going to take this Glitter Glue by City Color Cosmetics, it's definitely my favorite one. And I'm going to take a Copper Glitter from NYX, it is such a pretty glitter, it's definitely one of my favorite glitters that I own. And here again I was just going with the flow and I actually decided to create a wing outside of the eyeshadow and I am going to clean up the excess shadow that is left from the outer corners of my eye but definitely just use your creative juices girl and do what you gotta do boo I'm gonna go in with an NYC liquid eyeliner in black and I'm going to draw a pretty thick wing. I'm going to try and stay within the lines of the glitter because I don't want to go outside of them. But I did go back and I actually drew a wing extending out of the glitter where the glitter ends. Kind of like a helix eyeliner type of thing. Does that make sense? Then after that I did apply my lashes. For bronzer I'm going to take the favorite one of mine which is the co co uh, la, 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 la. Caramel Toffee by Wet n Wild. You guys know that this was in my favorites. So I'm going to apply that with a big fluffy brush and then for my blush I'm going to take Papaya by City Color Cosmetics. Very pretty matte color that goes with literally every makeup look that you will do. Then I'm going to blend everything out to make sure that it's not too intense and that I didn't leave any harsh lines or anything like that. After that, I'm going to take this highlighter. I really don't remember the name, but it is by Luxie Beauty, one of my favorite makeup brands. And I will have a link below where, where, where you guys can purchase it if you guys are interested. I'm taking that and I'm packing it on with this e.l.f. brush. I'm also taking it to my cupid's bow and to the center of my chin. After that, I'm going to go in with this ColourPop Cream Gel Eyeliner. And it is more of a taupey brown. It reminds me a lot of Max Costa Riche. And I'm just going to be smoking out the lower lash line. Going back into Burnt Umber and just really smoking the shit out of that eye. 
For my lips, I'm going to take a mix of these two. Now, I know that there's a lot of controversy behind Jeffree Star, but I try not to get into that drama. And I mean, I already had his liquid lipstick from a while ago, so I figured I would use them. But I used that in combination with Anastasia Beverly Hills Ashton, and that was um mannequin by jeffree star which is honestly a very pretty color and it just gave me the perfect lip that i wanted so yeah guys after you are done with the lip you are pretty much done slaying your life with this makeup look i really hope you guys enjoyed it if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up please subscribe if you haven't already and i'll catch you guys in my next video bye chicas love you Y me solté el cabello, me vestí de la...